something. Welcome back. Anthony Wayne hosting Glenville. Generals up 7-0 in the first quarter. Look at Andy Brungard, first season, has his team in the playoffs hosting a game. Evan Brown up the middle here, and this would not be good. Evan Brown, again, this is in the second quarter now, leaves the game, would not return. Minutes later, how about Nick Schneider? I love it, just finding a way. Breakaway speed, maybe? Get there, get there. Yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> One yard shy, but he will finish it off. Schneider makes it 14 0. Andy Brugard's defense pretty darn good, too. Glenville QB Xander spikes his hit and he fumbles. A dub recovers. Check out Matt Krause with the hit, Sean Mowry with the recovery. Then Schneider from a couple of yards out. Three rushing touchdowns on the night for Schneider, a former one-hour heating and air conditioning, always on time or you don't pay a dime, player of the week. He was out of pads at the end of this game, but looked okay. How about some more defense? Johnny Rupp. That's big time. Rupp leading that defense as he has the last two years. And then special teams. Glenville receiving. Robbie Whitman says no. Another look. That's a great special teams play right there. Then third and 15 in the fourth quarter. Reagan Cole and Matt Krause combined on the tackle. We talked about Coach Broomgard, the defensive coordinator for Perrysburg against Glenville last year, held him to 19 points, scored 50 on him, and Anthony Wayne wins their first home playoff game in school history, 21 to seven. We practiced real hard. Everybody just gave it 100%, and uh, we came out playing like it was our last game this year, and uh, we didn't want it to be, and it's not, so it's good. Well, it seemed like there was a point in the game where you really, you, I, I could see you telling coach, feed me, feed me. Was that a selfish move on your part? Um, I didn't, uh, that's, a, that's a tough one. I mean, I had, I had it good. The line was doing good for me. So, no, give me the ball. Let me make a play. 